this program is going to create an array and initialize it at the same time and then we're going to get the highest number in the array so let's start by determining how many numbers are going to be in the array which will make it as five Then we're going to declare the array itself. So we do integer and we just call it numbers. And then we'll do max numbers. And we will uh, let's just make it five, seven, eight. 17 and 15. So what we need as a function is to get the highest number. So let's create a integer. No. No. I'm gonna take it with me tomorrow. You're gonna bring it to me. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking to me. So you. Sorry, sorry. That's all right. So get um, highest. And we need to pass our integer array. So we need a integer. And we'll just call it highest. So then we're going to do highest equals get highest. And we're passing uh, numbers. So let's write our thing in here. So what we need to do is we need an integer and we need to, uh, we'll call it highest here. So we have to set the highest before we go into the array. We need to set the highest to the first element. So let's go in here and we'll call this numbers. And what we're going to do here is four. And there's more than one way to do it. I think what I'm going to do is not initialize it to the first element, just so you can see how it works. So we have highest um, for integer i equals zero i less than uh what do we call it max numbers i believe and then i plus plus so what we're going to do here if uh, obviously highest is zero right now so the first one is going to set it right here so if and if it doesn't work, it's because you have something reversed. If numbers of i, oops, is greater than um, highest, which is right now zero. Then we're going to put that highest equals the numbers of i. And then we'll print it out just so you can see it work. So basically what it's saying, um, we're starting out with zero. So you know that numbers of i, which is five, is definitely going to be zero, higher than zero. So the first time around, numbers of i 
will be the highest. So the highest will be five. Then the second time around, uh, seven is higher than five, eight is higher than that, 17. So let's just make this a four so we don't have to do this every time. So what we'll do here is we'll print C out the highest is now highest. So let's go and see exactly what happens. Then we need to, um, we have an if here, so let's put in our comments. And we need to return highest. So if we do this right, 17 will be the highest. So we have a highest equals get highest. C out the highest is highest. And we'll get rid of some of these things in here. And let's see what happens. All right, so the highest is now five. So let's look at it right here. So the first time around, um, because highest is zero, and I highest or numbers of zero is five, then boom. So that's going to be the highest. So seven is now higher than five. So the highest is now seven. However, four is not. So it skips it. 17 is higher than 7. So that's now the highest. Uh, 15 is not. And then it just prints it there. So if you wanted to do the lowest, you would do the exact opposite. You would go lowest equals um, get lowest in here. Then you would do if numbers of i is less than lowest then lowest equals number of i. So we can do the same thing with get lowest. So we would just do integer lowest equals zero. And we need a get lowest. So we have lowest in here, then lowest equals get lowest. And we can pretty much copy the code from here and just make some modifications. And of course, we're going to get some errors for things that are not there. So now what we want is if numbers of i, but since we're doing the lowest, we need to make it less than the lowest. And then the lowest is this and the lowest is now lowest and let's see get lowest and we want to print out see out the lowest is 
lowest. So that looks pretty good. And And we need to return lowest. Brian, come here. All right, so let's see what happens now. All right, so the lowest is the highest. Now the lowest is zero. So press any key to continue. So something is obviously not working. And one of your lowest at the bottom, because you put a P in, I know you can scroll back up. Yeah, right there. Lowest, okay, numbers. If, then you have to, oh, never mind, never mind. If numbers of i is lower than the lowest, ah, here is our issue. Because it's zero, it's never going to, to do this. So in this particular case, we have to do the lowest equals numbers of zero. So that's what we need to do in here. Because if we don't, it's always going to be, since we don't have anything less than it, so let's make this minus 15 in there. And uh, let's go and run it again and see what happens. All right, so the lowest is now, we know that in here the lowest is now 4, then the lowest is minus 15. So that worked. So let's go back to this. Um, we didn't have to do this in the numbers, uh, but really just to be on the safe side, let's do it anyway. So we'll do highest equals... Um, numbers of zero, then in all reality, you really would make this a one because we don't need to test the first number. But let's, um, you know, get it working first, then you make the changes. So we could physically make this a one because we don't need to test the zero. So let's go and try that and see what happens. So we still have 7 is the highest because it starts out with 5 and uh, highest is now 17 in here. So we have in here, which makes sense, the lowest is now 15, 4 in there. So we can do the same thing in here, um, which we've done in here. So that works out pretty good. So questions uh, on this one? I'm getting like a squiggly line. I don't know. Where are you getting a squiggly line? Under numbers. All right. Well, that's probably all right. So that's no biggie. So let me end uh, the video here, and then I'll look at your squiggly line.